so here uh, the point O is the point, uh, point of projection so from here uh, we are throwing the particle with the initial velocity u so when it is thrown so it follows a typical path okay and uh, it follows and it reaches to a maximum height a and it finally reaches to again to the ground to the position point b okay so this is how uh, the particle will uh, travel so uh, we uh, define few uh, terms with regards to this motion that is the point o is a po point of projection okay and theta is angle of projection and distance ob is called horizontal range or simply just we call range so the other uh, parameter which is of importance for us is the how much time this object is flying uh, means uh, at point A it is on the ground at that point B it is on the ground in between it is traveling so the, what are the time it is taking to travel from point A to, so, sorry from point O to B that we call it as time of flight okay uh, the other term is a height or what is the maximum height it is reaching in the process so especially these are uh, all important when we are designing missiles and kind of stuff where uh, we are going to project uh, project the uh, missile with uh, some velocity with an inclination and we will try to t reach the target at away from the our uh, location so uh, when uh, uh, the initial velocity is given as u and it is making an angle theta with respect to horizontal so then uh, the uh, the velocity can be resolved into ux and uy that means uh, the effectively what is the amount of velocity component along horizontal direction and vertical direction that you can resolve just like our forces so here that leads to ux as u cos theta and uy as u sin theta okay so this is how uh, uh, you can resolve the velocity terms but what about accelerations so here if you see uh, since um, we have thrown the object horizontally uh, sorry inclined way and uh, the acceleration component only acceleration component you will observe here acceleration due to gravity g which is always act vertically downward so that means the you will expect only the acceleration in the vertical direction that that we are uh, and since it is downward minus g we that's how we represent and since there is no external uh, force in the x direction so we can say that the acceleration in the part in the horizontal direction as zero okay so once uh, you got uh, the uh, components uh, velocity component and acceleration component in the x direction and y direction then you can proceed so now we'll observe the what kind of because now uh, we are dealing the projectile motion in the rectilinear coordinate system so the horizontal motion uh, you can independently deal and vertical motion you can independently deal so when we are dealing uh, uh, horizontal motion side what all the comp what all the values uh, given to us so one is ax is zero and ux exist that is u cos theta so once you know these two quantities then you can substitute in the known uh, expressions we have but our final uh, intention is to find what is the horizontal distance we are traveling that is what is the most of the time is our interest so what is the uh, horizontal travel that is uh, s is equal to ut plus half a t square that will uh, give you the the distance travel horizontal distance travel so here since uh, we are talking only horizontal motion so s is replaced with x and everything all other initial velocity and acceleration also we are considering only in the x direction since uh, uh, in the x direction there is no acceleration so you can able to uh, uh, neglect the acceleration term so this will finally will give you uh, x is equal to u x into t so u x into t is the uh, quantity you will get 
so here u u x is u t cos t yeah, sorry u cos theta so that if you are substituting you will get it uh, the expression for the horizontal motion that is x okay so this is how we will uh, deal so basically uh, the horizontal motion is just like a a uniform motion because there is no acceleration component on the horizontal side so you can treat horizontal motion as a a uniform motion okay so that means so the velocity is going to remain constant so that is the reason so if you carefully observe in the previous slide uh, the in the throughout the projectile motion you can observe that carefully the horizontal component of velocity is going to be same so initially if you see the horizontal component of velocity is u cos theta the same value will remain even to the next event okay after some time you can see that horizontal component will be same even you can see at point a that is a maximum height also horizontal component is same at another event horizontal component is same and again after reaching to the point b also it is going to remain same why it is going to same because there is no uh, acceleration component in the horizontal direction so it is as good as uh, a uniform motion so that's why you will see throughout the motion the horizontal component is going to be u cos theta u x is equal to u cos theta that is how the motion how the motion in the vertical direction so that we will observe now in this uh, in the vertical side uh, there is now an acceleration component exist so that is a y that is again we are representing in the downward side so minus g and uh, you will have uh, initial uh, velocity component also exist so that is u y so that we have uh, uh, yeah, that is that magnitude of that is u sin theta so you can substitute uh, the values uh, uh, into uh, the individual expressions which we know on a rectilinear motion and then you can able to find the individual values of velocity and displacement how much it is traveling along the y-direction so most of the time uh, y-directional side motion is of interest is to find uh, what is the maximum height a particle is reaching so that basically happening at the point exactly at point a so that is the height uh, the maximum height how much it is reaching that is happening in the vertical coordinate direction so that is how you will be calculating but one more point you need to observe uh, from this uh, projectile motion is that the vertical component is initially it is u sin theta later you can observe in the second event where in the second event the uh, there is a reduction in the velocity u sin theta minus some value that value is g into t so uh, similarly after reaching to the maximum height position so you will see zero vertical velocity because you have reached to maximum height so why uh, the velocity is reducing from point o to a because uh, motion direction is upward but acceleration due to gravity direction is downward so basically the uh, acceleration due to gravity is acting like a retardation to the particle that is the reason the vertical side motion uh, uh, you will see from point o to a as uh, a retarding motion so your velocity will keep re keep on reducing after reaching to the point a and now uh, the particle uh, if you carefully observe so the vertical direction vertical component direction also is downward and the acceleration due to gravity is also downward so uh, that means so acceleration due to gravity now act as an accelerator so that's the reason now you can see the vertical component uh, slowly increasing from point A to B. So that is how it is going to happen. Horizontal side, there is no effect on the velocity component because there is no acceleration. But on the vertical side, till point A, the acceleration due to gravity uh, acts like a uh, neg uh, negatively and from A to B, it acts positively. 
so this is why you will see the there is a variation in the velocity components only in the vertical direction not in the horizontal direction this point you have to be keep uh, uh, understand and remember uh, when you are dealing the the projectile motion okay now uh, uh, by substituting the uh, appropriate conditions uh, at point a and point b you can able to calculate our uh, in our required uh, terms that is that how much total time of flight and what is the range range means maximum horizontal distance and what is the maximum height this is the maximum coordinate on the y axis side range is maximum coordinate on the x axis side h is the maximum coordinate on the y axis side and the capital t represents the total time of flight so uh, it is better to uh, remember these standard uh, expressions for uh, usage uh, for quicker usage for the solving the problems but my personal uh, experience with uh, projectile problems that you uh, don't blindly depend on the formulas which we now finally got like time time of flight and range and maximum height you need to uh, understand the process that what we explained in the previous slide that is uh, you can able to divide the projectile motion into a horizontal motion and vertical motion and then you handle the problem so that you can able to solve any kind of complicated problems if you remember only the final expressions it is difficult sometimes to handle simple problems as well that we will realize it when we are solving the problems related to projectile